Hey, what's up? Why do I always say that at the beginning of every video? I, I, even I don't know the answer to that one. Um, showed you some a test shot examples of a light mod that I created. You know, you always have to think of light like uh, a creature. You know, uh, there are some people that are experts of birds. There's like uh, rare animals that uh, basically don't breed in captivity. And there's people that actually have to get into the mind of these uh, damn animals. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> some of these crazy animals to get them to breed since they're endangered and stuff like that. You, as a photographer, you have to be that way about light. I mean, I've said there's absolutely no difference between an illusionist and a photographer. You know, you have to make people wonder and dazzle, and uh, it's about lighting. You think, oh, no, I need the latest new lens, I need this lens. It's like, well, yeah, that, that's great if it's for sports and action and that lens is super fast, you know, and uh, there's nothing wrong with an awesome camera either, but it's all about lighting. I've said a thousand times that, A, you have to have the skills. That goes without saying, you know, for, for Christ's sakes. You have to have the skills, but... You know, you can do a lot more with lighting than you can with a super expensive lens and crappy light. I mean, you, you just can't touch it. Right, give me a crappy lens. Give me a half-broken crappy lens and a crappy old camera, you know, and one good studio strobe and a reflector and maybe a couple of other crazy mods that I've created. And I'll do a lot more than that than you can with a Zeiss and a, you know, a new Nikon a D5 or D500. Um... There's also something else I'd like to mention about this little light mod that I created. Of course, I have... Uh, it doesn't have to be Christmassy like this. I mean, this actually has seven different button settings that you could actually set. They can actually rotate between blue and green. You can actually buy these in white on eBay, or you can buy them in all red. So they don't have to be Christmassy, so to say. I mean, I posted up some test shots, like five or six test shots. I'll post the link uh, to, uh, uh, again, I posted the links to the test shots in the last video. It was a very boring subject, but I just wanted to show you a quick demonstration of how awesome this is. Now, um, you'll see, if you're able, you, know, you should be able to see this, that part of the string of these lights actually loop up like five or six inches off, and then curly cue around, and I uh, fastened it in a random fashion. The reason for that, the reason that I don't have them flat against this is again you have to think about light for god's sakes why the hell do i have loops you know sticking up from uh this is just a space blanket that i crinkled up over and over again like a, a 10 times then i place loosely on this foam board and i have the four battery controller with the uh button switch back here velcro to the back of the foam board it took me 10 minutes to make this damn thing i have these held in with push pins uh, the reason that for the, these loops is that uh, since there's all these crinkles in the uh, in the space blanket, any lights that are up are actually striking creases in the crinkles. So even though there's only 60 lights here, if you look, take a look at the test shots, you'll see hundreds of bokeh balls superimposed over top of each other. And that's because this like this one light, for example, is hitting here, here, and here, and the, you know, the red up here is hitting here, here. So, it, you really are, you're, you're like an illusionist. You have to be able to understand what the hell light does. I mean, you have to think in terms of reflectance, refractance. Um, there's a lot of things you need. It's not that difficult. Once you get into the mind of light, you can actually start creating... I've already got, you know, easily 20 times more light mods than everybody else combined on uh, old YouTube. And, God, I mean, I can make 20 times more again. Um, I'm always thinking of uh, crazy light mods. Now, the images from this are great uh, for headshots, product photography. Um, they don't have to be Christmas lights like this. You could use white lights or all red or all blue. And how would you do a product shot without showing the stand? Now, the product that I showed in the test shot of this was just a Nikon. You could see, obviously, the tripod. Uh, sitting underneath it. I just wanted to show you as an example. I'm not going to spend all day, you know. I just, you know, I'm already clogged down answering comments and emails. How would you actually free suspend a product off of this and actually take a shot of it? Um, the answer to that is really easy. You just stick a hole right here in the center. You uh, glue or tape, uh, hot glue, 
which is removable, the product off the back of that rod and you shoot it uh, to the point where you cannot see that rod. Um, I shot it with a 56mm at f1.2, but I mean it looks plenty good if you get decent separation at f8 or even f2. It doesn't have to be at f1.2, 1.4, 1.8, f2. You know, this is really simple. This string of lights, these micro LEDs only cost uh, 10 bucks. The foam board costs 2 bucks. And the space blankets are a buck a piece. Sometimes you can get them for less than a buck a piece. Um, how would I make this larger? Really, really simple. I would buy four strings of these lights. I would actually use wires. Just poke in some uh, like uh, 12 gauge wire out of uh, the corner of uh, each one of these foam boards. And I would actually uh, stick four of these together. And I could do head and shoulder shots. It's like, well, this isn't big enough for head and shoulder. It's big enough for a baby. You know, you could set this down um, lengthways and put a baby in front of it and get some incredible bokeh shots. But what about like a head and shoulder of a normal human being? This foam board isn't big enough. It's like, well, yeah, it is. All I have to do is just um, stick some wire in there, a, a link four of these together with wire, and then I'd actually put some uh, uh, industrial duct tape down, then lay on my sheet of crinkled up um, a space blanket and uh, string uh, four or three. You don't really need four. Even though you'd have four foam boards, you really only need three. Um... Because once you loop these lights up here, they're hitting everything over here. So it's like a hall of mirrors. You ever been in, ever seen a hall of mirrors? Like you place someone in a room that's all mirrored, you see a thousand reflections. By actually angling these lights up over top of all these little mirrors, which are the creases, you know, it's hitting all of these little mirrors and reflecting back into the camera lens for amazing bokeh. And obviously it doesn't have to be red and blue. Like I say, it could be white or red or, you know, whatever the hell you want. I mean... And each one of these little suckers is switchable. And here we go. And let me turn it off now. This doesn't weigh anything either. It took 10 minutes to make this, and this is like 14 bucks. You know, you, you don't see shots like that. People pay. Let me let me let me drop the word to you. People pay for shit that is cool. It's like shit. I haven't seen that before. You know. People have seen Boko lights before, you know, like Christmas lights and stuff like that. But as far as like hundreds of Boko balls superimposed over top of each other, most people have not seen that. And most photographers, let me use the word photographers, don't know how to do that. I just show you how to do that in 10 minutes for $14. And if you quadruple that cost, you need to stick four of these together and you have yourself a board about yay big, bah mia, bah mia. And that's perfect for head and shoulder shots. Or product photography. All sorts of freaky deaky stuff. Just let your mind run rampant. Once you understand the critter that is light, I don't care what you think of me, but I do understand light. Um, know how to use a light meter too. Been doing it for 20 years. Know how to calculate your lighting ratios too. Um, where to place the light. How light works, how you can actually, you know, use diffusers and filters and gels and grids and honeycombs. Once you understand all that, man, the money is like... I've had a bunch of people recently contact me. It's like, you're right. You're right. I'm starting to doing product photography. It's so easy. I can sit here in my underwear watching television doing product photography. It's like, yeah, that's right. You see all these idiots on YouTube that are like using hookers, oh, yeah, I mean models, you know, she's like, this is, you know, this is real photography, man, I'm shooting this half-naked girl, it's like, screw that, that doesn't pay, it's like, well, that's sexy and glamorous, but that shit doesn't pay, uh, what pays is doing boring stuff, like some guy recently sent me, I won't say who he is, a picture, he took a, a product shot uh, for somebody of some bourbon, and, uh, and I guess it's going to be for advertising, you know, you just sit there and you just play with a, a product in a box and, you know, you angle your lights and, you know, you, you watch your reflectance, you check your speculars and where your shadows and diffusion falls. That stuff is fun. You can put on your headphones, watch TV while you're doing it, you know, click. That's, that's, the, that's the money. That's the easy photography. I don't believe in this. Hard, I don't believe in hard work. I believe in working smarter. 
Which would you rather do? Watch TV in your underwear doing product photography or listen to some, you know, damn bride bitch and moan and piss about, you know, I I like fat in those shots. I want you to reprint them. (laughs) Screw you. You catch my drift? Do you feel me about that one? Yeah, homie might know something that these other schmucks on YouTube don't talk about because they don't talk about it because they don't know anything about it. And like, yeah, this is what you need to aspire to, taking pictures of hookers, I mean models, yeah. No, I'd rather take product photography in my underwear watching television, you know, sipping on a Diet Coke or something. (laughs) That's easy, that's the money. Why the hell would I want to get dressed up and go hang around a wedding sweating and, and screw all that crap? That stuff is over, baby. Homie got smart. You know, don't believe in hard work. I believe in working smart, not working hard. You ever heard of that one before?